What's that? It's the sound of dividends hitting your bank account. There are two reasons people invest in stocks. One is for the increases in the stock price and the other is for dividends. So what are dividends and how do they work? Hey guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays JA brought to you by Proven Wealth. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and turn on those post notifications. And when you're done watching this video, share with some friends and make sure you head over to my website right after this episode premieres. Head over to kalilareynolds.com, the hub for all things me. I'm giving away over $150,000 in cash and prizes, mostly cash. And you can be the first to get my new merchandise and experience the site. It's a virtual pop day. Now to today's topic. A dividend is a payment made to a shareholder of a company out of the company's profits. A company can distribute its profits to shareholders or reinvest it into the company. At the end of a company's financial quarter or year, the directors of the company meet to decide if the profits should be reinvested into the company or distributed to shareholders. Now, some companies will let you know what to expect through their dividend policy. The dividend policy tells investors how the company plans to treat future profits. For example, in Tropical Batteries Prospectus recently, their dividend policy stated that if the company has profits available for distribution, they will first consider if the profit should be used to finance working capital or if it should be kept in reserve. If there's no need for extra working capital or for cash reserves, only then will the company distribute up to half of its profits to shareholders as dividends. Now, when the directors decide to distribute dividends, a notice is posted on the Jamaica Stock Exchange's website. We say that the company has declared a dividend. The notice tells when the board of directors met and approved the dividend, the amount of dividends per share, the record date, the ex-dividend date, and the date on which the dividend will be paid. So let's start with the record date. That's the date by which your name should be in the company's shareholders register. It's pretty similar to the register that teachers use to mark if you were present or absent at school. If you want your name to be in the register, you must purchase the stock in time for the transaction to be settled. On the Jamaica Stock Exchange, the time for settlement of transactions is the trade date plus two days. It's also called T plus two. If you purchase the stock after this date, you will be X'd out of receiving a dividend, otherwise known as the ex-dividend date. Investors who owned the stock before the ex-dividend date would receive the dividend declared before this ex-dividend date, obviously. Now for the amount of dividend per share. So the amount of dividend per share tells you how much dividends you will get for each share that you owned. For example, Trans Jamaican Highway Limited, TJH, declared an interim dividend of 7.48 cents, call it seven and a half cents. That's a tiny fraction of one US cent. If you owned 1 million TJH shares, you would get a gross dividend payment of 74,800 Jamaican dollars. That's just about 500 US dollars. Now let's look at the payment date. The payment date for dividends is simple. It's just the date on which checks will be issued or cash deposited to your bank account. Dividends are not only paid out in cash though, some companies will decide to pay dividends by giving you more stock in the company or in another company. This is what Sepra did the other day. They declared a two-part dividend on September 20, 2020. Seprod shareholders received a dividend of 30 cents per share. They also received one share in Epley Caribbean Property Fund Value Fund for every five Seprod shares that they owned. Interesting, right? So companies may choose to issue dividends in the form of stocks to keep cash in the company. And with the uncertainty brought on by the pandemic, more companies will want to keep as much cash as they can to act as a buffer just in case the economy gets worse 
and revenues continue to go down. Now, why are dividends so important? It may seem obvious, right? But some investors choose to buy high dividend paying stocks for the steady income it provides regardless of the movement in the stock price. Companies like Proven Investments, Carreras, Scotia Group Jamaica, and Supreme Ventures are known to declare high dividends every three months, that's quarterly. So dividends from these companies serve as a steady source of income for these investors to just sit on and collect, it's passive income. In the case of Carreras, which currently trades at around $6.50, the dividend will give an investor more than a 10% annual return on funds invested. This is called the dividend yield. For example, if you bought 10,000 shares in Carreras today, you'd pay about 65,000 Jamaican dollars and you could expect to get about $6,500 a year in dividends. That's a dividend yield of 10%. But what happens if the stock price changes? Well, you'd still get the same amount of dividends because dividends has nothing to do with the stock price. It's based on the profits that the company makes. So if Carrera's stock price falls to $5 per share and you owned the same 10,000 shares, you'd still get the same $6,500 in dividends. And if the stock price rises, same thing. Your dividends will stay the same. Don't expect to get any extra based on the stock price. If you're investing for dividends, the number that you should pay attention to is the company's net profits. This is reported in their financial statements published on the Jamaica Stock Exchange's website every three months. Now, what about the total gain from the stock? Remember, at the beginning of this video, I spoke about the two ways to make money from stocks. You have the price appreciation, that's when the stock price goes up, and you also have dividends. When you add these together, these are called your gains or the profit that you made on your investment. So let's say you bought 10,000 stocks in a company for a dollar a share last year. That would have cost you $10,000, but the stock has gotten more popular over the past year. More people want it. So now it's worth $1.10 a share. The stock price has gone up 10%. So if you were to sell your stocks today, you'd get $11,000. You would have made $1,000 in profit. Now let's add the dividends. Let's say that same stock is also giving you a dividend yield of 7%. That's an extra $700 in profit. So you've actually made $1,700 in profit or gains from the stock for the year. Your total gain is 17%. 10% from the price going up, plus 7% from the dividend yield. Now here's another cool thing about dividends. Dividend paying stocks also help investors to take advantage of compounding. Compounding happens when you use your dividends to buy more shares in the company. More stocks result in more dividends. And if you continue to reinvest your dividends over several years, you will eventually begin receiving very large dividends while also compounding your total gains. Think of it this way. If you set a target of having a million dollars in dividend stocks, that dividend income can cover most people's light bill for life. The dividends from 10 million Jamaican dollars could cover most mortgage payments. And once your mortgage is paid off, then you'd have free flowing income. Or as I like to say, you just sit on and collect. This is what we call the passive income. So, are you seeking out dividend stocks? If yes, what for? You want a steady income or you're just trying to become the next Warren Buffett and earn billions annually from dividends? If you're already doing it, what are your favorite dividend paying stocks? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for this episode of Money Mondays JA brought to you by Proven Wealth. Follow them on social media at We Are Proven and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kalila Ray. Now, here's what's coming up on Taking Stock. Wigton Wind Farm held its first AGM since listing on the Jamaica Stock Exchange last year. Net profits at the company are up 34% compared to the last year. Why has energy done so well and what are their plans for growth? We'll hear from Wigton's Managing Director, Earl Barrett. And later, the analysts swain on the latest market developments. The economy has shed more than 135,000 jobs compared to the same period last year, with unemployment now at 12.6%.
and Separate's Profit Double Damage the COVID-19 Pandemic. We'll discuss. And now that the episode is over, meet me over at kalilareynolds.com for our website launch. I have a ton of stuff to give away. Electronics, jewelry, gift certificates, and of course, money. Head over to kalilareynolds.com. I'm giving you a full tour of my website. You get to see who my team members are and snag my newest merch. Also sign up to our newsletter there at kalilareynolds.com for business news, analysis, and a transcript of this episode. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Stay safe.